My gosh. Okay. This week on World Class Sport Fishing, Tony Gillum and Peter Wright visit the Columbia River in search of oversized sturgeon. Oh, <laughs> nice fish! Good, Tony. Peter's brought some of his saltwater tackle to fight these prehistoric monsters. It's all coming up next. That was awesome. Everybody hang on. This week, World Class Sport Fishing has us halfway between my home in Florida and Tony's home in Alaska. Tony, what do you know about this beautiful Columbia River Gorge and these giant sturgeon that live in it? Well, I've only ever caught small sturgeon, and this river can produce fish in excess of 12 to 14 feet and weigh three to 400 pounds. I've got us fishing this week with a friend of mine, Todd Brenton. He really is a world-class guide and a world-class fisherman, especially for these big sturgeon on this river. Well, I brought some stand-up tackle with me. I hope my back doesn't turn out to be the weak link in this operation. Well, let's see how these big sturgeon compare to your marlin and tuna where you're from. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go fishing. Todd and Lisa Brenton from Vancouver, Washington, are going to be our guides today as we search for oversized sturgeon along the magnificent Columbia River Gorge during the months of May through September. This area is one of the prime locations to fish for oversized sturgeon, which migrate up the river to spawn. These fish can get up to 12 feet long and over 400 pounds, so our team is excited to catch them. These fish have a very, very slow growth rate, and the ones that we've actually caught and released out here can get up in the 100, 150 year old fish. They are prehistoric, they've been here forever, and they kind of clean up the river system. They take care of debris on the bottom. They come up here, they spend three or four months to spawn, they have their offspring, and then they go back down the river. This is where the majority of the white sturgeon population comes from in the Columbia River system, is right here, probably 90% of the fish. So without wasting any time, our team heads out to catch some shad to use for bait. The shad were introduced into the area many years ago, and now there is plenty of it to use as fresh bait. Um, we gotta go back down. There's one right there. Within an hour, our team has caught enough bait to last all day. The sturgeon is a bottom feeder, so the strategy is to let the fresh shad bait fall to the bottom. What we got going on here, uh, Tony and Pete, is where, where I've been fishing at the last few days, we got a big deep pocket, and this water is actually so high that it's back ebbing and swirling 90 feet hole over here. 90 foot hole. Back up in front of us is a big flat. These bigger fish, they can't work all day in the current. So what they're looking for is these shad that are dying as they're going up and spawning. So they'll sit in these back eddies and then they'll pull out. You see the current seed that's floating down yeah. through here? They'll actually pull out on that current seed and feed and then they'll go back in to where they can rest in a slower current. So what we need to be is uh, in about 30 to 40 ounce water. Uh, we need to sit on these current lines where these fish are gonna feed. Not long after Todd sets the anchor and gets the lines out, Tony hooks up. You got him? Drag, 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 drag. Take the drag down, take the drag down, take the drag down, hit him again. There you go, fish on. All right, Start picking him up. Oh, this thing's got there you go. a little bit of more weight to it than I expected. When I set the hook, it was just like you hooked onto the bottom of the river, and then it started to move. It was just, it was an incredible feeling. How about that hookup, Pete? Good on you. Right after eating the bait, Sturgeons will usually take out a lot of line as they swim down river along the bottom, trying to get away from the pressure of the hook. Okay, yeah, I'm cool. Go ahead. I'm... Oh, oh. oh, I missed the jump. No, there he is. He's flopping oh. on top now. Woo! Get him, guys. A lot of people don't realize that a sturgeon will actually come from 70 feet deep and send its whole body out of the water. You're looking at a 10-foot fish that comes completely out of the water, 300-pound fish. It's, it's amazing to watch something that long launch out of the water. It makes a heck of a splash and uh, they'll do it a couple of times. Then they just, they go deep and uh, then you get it. Then, it's, then the work begins. 
He was out there a ways. That was a nice job. It looked like a decent fish. Right? Yeah, dude. We haven't even begun to fight this fish. Right now, just that fish is hunkered down in the current. You'll feel it every once in a while. You'll feel it tick, tick, tick. Uh -huh. They're trying to rub that hook out of their mouth on the bottom. Once it gets going, it's decided to come out here in this main flow. We're going to be fighting this fish for quite a while. We went down the river, circling the fish. It would come up the river, go down the river, across the river, and it's it's way more than you'd expect. I believe it's halibut. I hope it's not a halibut. I ain't come up here for a halibut. <laughs> a prehistoric monster is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they are. Now we're gaining something. Oh, you're gaining only because she wants to let you. It's gonna. It'll stop here in a second. Back it back down there. Jeez, it's chilly. Where's it going? Underneath, underneath the boat? The boat. Drop underneath it. Pull your rod way down low. Uh oh. Bad news. That was a fish I just hit. <laughs> Did you fish? Did you hear that? Fish yeah. came up underneath the boat. <laughs> well, you made me mad. He's headed back to the bottom. <laughs> I literally hit her with. She ran into the prop and goes, boom! <laughs> like, oh. oh, it did. <laughs> was it the prop or the bottom of the boat? No, she's a, she is upset. Oh, yeah. Going right at you, bud. Go as quick as we can. You got a big belly in your line right now. What you got is that fish swimming out like a... There we go. There you go. Good job. Right on, man. Way to get back on her. Stay tuned. Tony has a nice sturgeon close to the boat. If you owe over $15,000 in taxes, listen to this. We owe the IRS $24,000, but we only pay $2,000. We owe the IRS $200,000, but we only paid $40,000. Call now for a free no-obligation consultation and reduce your tax debt. We owe the IRS $3 million, but we paid less than $1 million. Call 800-423-9805. GEICO's been saving people money on car insurance for over 70 years. And who doesn't want value for their dollar? Been true since the day I made my first dollar. Where is that dollar? I got it out to show you. Uh, was it rather old and wrinkly? Yeah, you saw it? Uh, fancy a crisp? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You don't want to come out here with less, so the new Rancher AT is engineered to give you more. With a more reliable all-gear automatic 5-speed transmission that's more efficient than conventional automatics with electric power steering and independent rear suspension for more comfort. The revolutionary Rancher AT. If you're looking for more, don't settle for anything less. Get the new Rancher AT with as low as 3.99% financing. It's a straight deal, and best of all, it's a Honda. Think you know how to keep yourself safe? We may know some things that you've never thought of. Midway USA's The Best Defense. Wednesdays, 7.30 and 11 p.m. Eastern. Only on Outdoor Channel, America's leader in outdoor TV. Fridays on Outdoor Channel, join us for a fish-filled journey at sea on Offshore Adventures, presented by Red Lobster. Fridays at 11 p.m. Eastern, only on Outdoor Channel, America's leader in outdoor TV. Welcome back to World Class Sport Fishing. Todd Brenton and our team are on the scenic Columbia River in search of oversized white sturgeon. There you go, fish on. Before right. the break, Tony hooked up to what seems to be a really big sturgeon. When you're pulling and all of a sudden you'll feel it, it's tight, 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 and then it comes, right. you lift your head up off the bottom. And that, if you can do short strokes and short pumps of like a foot at a time, you'll just keep them coming. And then they'll literally just start swimming to the top. It's when they're, they're nose down and tail up. And you'll notice when you're pulling, pulling, and all of a sudden right there at the top, when it gives, then you'll get them. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Perfect, bud. It's dropping, you know, letting their head drop back down so they can swim away. 
You got it right here. You're doing awesome. That's good, Tony. That's good. Perfect. That's good for him. Until it decides to go back the other way. <laughs> the way they fight, they, they just get down, they pull, they dig, they'll stick to the bottom of the river. It's great. It's, it's just a tug of war. It'll wear you out. You're using a lot of drag, heavy tackle. We're Back. still in the 50, 60 feet of water. Oh, we're about 70 feet. All right, there's the sinker. There's the leader. There's the leader. There she is, right there. There she is. Once the fish actually came up, you get to see how big this fish is. And it looks like a 747 without wings. It's just this real long dinosaur that comes up out of the bottom of the river. And it's fabulous. It's absolutely cool to see a fish that big coming out of fresh water. That's a fresh fish. That fish has never been worked. When you're getting that bite down there and you're, you're watching that, that tug in the rod, what you're seeing is their mouth. See how it extends? And it's like a big, giant suction. It's like a big vacuum. And you're seeing that, that suction, that pull off the bottom. Let's Here, turn it over. OK, OK. Don't let her go. OK. No, she's right Whoa, there. She's there. She's there we go. <laughs> right on, that guys. Woo! Yeah. Nothing wrong with that fish. Good job, bud. Oh, right on. You. Congratulations, job, man. man. <laughs> 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 Your dad's going to be uh, That's a nice gonna be jealous, fish. isn't he? Oh, right yeah, on, guys. You see that? It was all abraded on the belly from rubbing on the rocks. And... Yeah, there's big clam beds, fish, freshwater huh? clam yeah, beds up in cool. here. And absolutely, they uh, they rub on the bottom to feed in the whole nine yards. Hey, Todd, right up there's our anchor. Let's go hook back up and see if we can't get Peter hooked up on one. Sounds good. All good right. Job, man. Thank you, good sir. Job. Thank you. That was cool. That was great. Cool. Right on, guys. Awesome. Up, do it again. Wow. Okay. Peter plans on using his saltwater tuna stand up harness and gear to fight these big sturgeon. Let's see if his marlin and tuna experience helps him out on the river today. You can see one of the major differences between my rod and, and the rods that you guys here use is the tip is quite a bit bigger. On, uh, on a typical Columbia River rod, I've got a little pen slammer tuna rod here because the tip is shorter there's less leverage against me makes it a little bit easier for me to hold the same amount of drag uh, fish will fight just as hard i won't pull any harder against the fish but just a little bit less effort on my part which i like doing things the easy way but before peter gets his shot tony hooks up again you <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Set the hook, it's, it's, you can't describe what it feels like because it doesn't feel like there's anything there except for a giant rock. And then it starts to move. Yeah, this yeah, fish yeah, yeah. is jumping right here, right here, right here. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nice fish too, Tony. That made me bigger than the first one. We got one real quick glimpse of it when it jumped, and uh, but not good enough to really judge the fish on how big it was. And it was just, it was incredible. Yeah. Come over the top, bud. That fish looks like he's gonna maybe come up and jump again. It's a big one right here. Come on, fish, stop! It just would suck to the bottom of the river. You get it a little ways up and back down the river, bottom it would go. My arms were burning. It, it would almost come to the surface, almost to where you could see it, and then it would take off again. Up underneath the boat, bud. Underneath. Hold it way down low. Got me, bud. Where's it at? Up front? Straight down, straight down. There, there you go. Sorry. That wind catches this boat. I, yeah. I can't get her spun around. Incredible fight here. Just incredible fight. Oh. Strong, strong fish. There's there, 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 there. Look at the size of this one, you guys. Oh. oh. Oh my God, that's another big female. Here you go. Get it rolled up. When we finally got to see it, it was way bigger than anybody had expected it to be. What a beast. All right, I got her. You got her? Yeah. Look at that fish. There we go. Woo! Woo! Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Yeah, good job, man. Good job. <laughs> All right. Good work, bro. Right on, guys. We 
got one more day with Todd. Uh, Peter wasn't able to hook up a fish on his uh, his marlin tackle, so uh, hopefully he can get a fish on that. And it, we're looking for another day like it was today. Don't go away. We'll be back with a lot more action. Do you want to peel and slice vegetables in an instant? Then you need the Titan Peeler, the incredible multi-purpose tool that makes peeling and slicing a breeze. The secret is Titan's dual action blades that peel and slice on an upward motion as well as downwards, making it twice as fast as ordinary peelers that only work in one direction. Titan is designed to...